there is little common ground in a decades-long battle over off-road recreation, economic freedom and the fate of California's dwindling coastal resources. While the matter is likely to end up in court, the California Coastal Commission is scheduled Thursday to finally decide whether off-road riding will continue to be permitted at Oceano Dunes State Vehicular Recreation Area, the only state park where vehicles can be driven along the beach. Commission staffers have concluded that off-road vehicle use along the eight miles of shoreline near San Luis Obispo is inconsistent with the Coastal Act and have recommended that it end within five years. But officials at the California Department of Parks and Recreation disagree and say a vehicle ban would be inconsistent with state laws regarding use of off-highway vehicles or OHV. Instead, they have drafted a management plan that envisions expanding vehicular and OHV use and installing improvements, including campgrounds and concession airspace, near scenic Oso Flaco Lake, as well as an OHV historic museum and a shooting range. The meeting on Thursday is going to be crazy, said Deborah Sivas, an environmental litigator and director of the Environmental Law Clinic at Stanford Law School. This debate has reached the point of crisis. Aaron Peskin, a member of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors and a former coastal commissioner, described the standoff as a 21st century scandal. The commission has extraordinary legal powers, he said. But the OHV crowd is loud, aggressive and combative. Friends of Oceano Dunes, an organization representing 28,000 off-road enthusiasts, asserts that banning people from flying over the coastal dunes in customized sand rails, roaring over the wet sand on dirt bikes and kicking up rooster tails on high-powered ATVs is a form of elitism. They chafe at the fact that the area they are allowed to enjoy is only about 10% of the 15,000 acres they roamed a few decades ago. OHV activities, they point out, attract nearly 2 million people a year and inject more than $100 million into the San Luis Obispo County economy. The organization's leaders have long challenged air quality experts' evidence that intensive vehicle use is largely responsible for a pollution problem in nearby downwind communities that are home to more than 20,000 people. To the mounting frustration of opponents, Friends of Oceano Dunes has been on a winning streak in court. Over the past five years, the group has successfully sued the Commission, the California Air Resources Board and the San Luis Obispo County Air Pollution Control District over the agency's actions at Oceano. A year ago, a San Luis Obispo County Superior Court judge ordered the Commission to pay friends $252,726 in attorney's fees. The order came after the group won a lawsuit accusing the agency of failing to comply with the California Environmental Quality Act in 2017 when it tried to expand dust control measures at Oceano.